Welcome in Newport at the Belgian coast close to the French border. This is where the Lotto Belgium Tour 2016 starts with the 4.4 km prologue. It's cloudy but warm and humid and nearly no wind on the waterfront as the riders pin their numbers onto their aero suits. Although the race starts in the afternoon, there's quite some traffic on the course already more than one hour before. Some riders do three laps to learn the course, especially the Top Sport Flandern team takes the reckon really serious and rides the last three 90 degree turns again and again. Marianne, I saw you uh, riding around the course like three or four times in the prologue like this, how important is it? Well, it's uh, it's not really difficult, but it's two times, uh, or yeah, one time, two corners, and then in the end, it's three corners behind each other. Uh, so yeah, it's on a short prologue. It can be really important to uh, to, to make the the right corners, and uh, don't yeah, you, you can lose a lot of seconds in those uh, in such a small period. Mariana Thos is one of the favorites today and for the whole week in Belgium, but the same goes for at least two of her Rabolif teammates. Talita de Jong, the cyclocross world champion, was second in the prologue of the Giro Rosa in July. And Lucinda Brandt has a great summer and finally found a shape after a less good spring. Defending champion Emma Johansson from Wiggle High Five will fight to lose as few seconds as possible in the short ITT, which is not her favorite discipline. And then there is former time trial world champion Lisa Brennauer and her Kenyan SRAM teammate Mika Kröger, who focused on the Olympic team pursuits this season. So the 4km prologue course should suit Kröger's actual state of training. What do you expect from today and from the week, from yourself and from the team? Well, after Olympics uh, in, the, in the World Cup in, in Sweden, I didn't feel too good, so uh, I had to, uh, to pull out for the road race and I felt already a little bit better in, uh, in Plouay. Um, but it hasn't been the, the best uh, preparation, so for me this race is, uh, is again a, a test and a try to, uh, to get uh, good into the final uh, part of the season. Who do you think is going to win today? I think Annemiek van Vleuten. <laughs> Annemiek van Vleuten gives her comeback 30 days after her horrible crash on the Olympic road race in Rio de Janeiro. The Dutch woman is one you always have to bet on in a short prologue. The big question is, how can she cope with her injuries? But the first really, really fast time comes from Foss herself. In 5 minutes and 33 seconds, she takes the lead, while the other ITT specialists are still warming up. Kröger misses out on Foss's time by 3 seconds, and Johansson loses 11 seconds on the multiple world champion. And then it's time for Brandt to climb onto the start ramp. The 27-year-old starts with a full sprint and finishes one second faster than Foss. That looks like a really strong time and she can smile when cooling down on the rollers right next to Talita de Jong, who warms up for her ride. De Jong is the number one for Abu Lift this week and therefore their last starter in the opening prologue. Nobody in the race took the speed bump after 100 meters as smooth as she did, but will that be enough to win? A few minutes later we would know, but first it's Brennauer who will come to the finish. The German was highly concentrated all day in her preparations and started two minutes before De Jong. As she approaches the finish it looks like it's gonna be close between her and Brandt. Brennauer pulls hard on the last meters and sprints to the line. She's faster than Brandt and takes the lead by only 0.03 seconds. My biggest goal was to come into the finish with the fastest time and uh, I knew that um, some pretty fast girls have been uh, starting earlier already, but that also some fast girls were still to come. So first goal was finished uh, with fastest time and um, I crossed the finish line and I, I directly had to lie on the ground because I, I gave it all, like I was full empty. And um, I think that uh, Talisa de Jong was directly the rider behind me. And so it's not for long that Brennauer could keep the first place. De Jong beats her time by roughly one second. So with seven riders to come, the top five are separated by less than five seconds. And the last one on the start ramp is Van Floyten. Remember, the Dutch time trial champion is Marianne Voss's bet for today's victory. 
She starts as fast as the others and then puts the hammer down on those four kilometers at the river Eise in Newport. Van Vleuten almost reels in Janni Sand from BMS Björn, who started one minute before her and smashes De Jong's best time by seven seconds. <laughs> Anime, congratulations. It's a victory on the comeback day. Um, what did you expect in the morning? Yeah, actually nothing normally. I'm super nervous when I have a prologue because I know I like prologues and I'm, you're, yeah, I have always a little bit of pressure on the day of a prologue. And today I just felt like, just see how it goes. And I know that I did not prepare for this day. I did not train very hard. I, did, I went on my bike in Italy, but I did not train hard. Last 7 August was my last hard training on the Rio Olympics, so um, so it uh, surprised me, yeah. Especially with that nut preparation, actually. Um, it's amazing how, how big the gap is with seven seconds. I mean, it was really close between Talita, between Lisa and Lucinda, and then you come and seven seconds faster. Did you, what did you think when you hear about the time? Yeah, I thought that I don't, I did not believe it when I heard the time. I thought, oh, it's not my time, and someone else was faster than me or something. And then, yeah, I could not believe it. No, it's, I, I know I, I still a little bit of stiff back and I had a really hard crash and I did not train intensity. So, um, yeah, I could not believe it. No, that the difference is so big. I thought maybe I do well, top 10 or something, a top five, maybe I hoped, but not this. The winner is from this prologue of the London Mountain Tour, Annick van Breten. So 30 days after crashing in the last downhill on the Olympic road race in Rio on her way to a possible gold medal, Van Vleuten comes back to the peloton with an impressive victory in the prologue of the Lotto Belgium Tour. Second place goes to Talita de Jong, third is Lisa Prenauer. Talita, it was already the best time at the Giro in the prologue and here again the best time and it was really close beating Lisa Prenauer and Lucinda. What did you think when you crossed the finish line and knew it was the best time? Yeah, I was. Uh, I had good, good feeling uh, during the during the prologue the race. It was really hard. My f legs were really bad, and the last week was not so good for me. But uh, then I heard that I was uh, at the first time till then, and then had, I think five, six girls had to finish still. And then uh, I knew that Annemiek uh, is good in time trial and prologue. So I was still thinking, is she gonna beat me or? Maybe to, today a win for me, but uh, she was again stronger and uh, not with uh, one or two seconds, no, with six. So really strong performance. Yeah, it's a really big gap at the end, especially when you know that it was really close between yeah. you guys. What did you think about that time? Yeah, it's incredible. Uh, I don't know how she is doing that, and uh, especially after the after her yeah crush. Um, but I know she is really strong and she focused on it. She focused already a, re a whole year on it, so. It would be, uh, yeah, <coughs> the chance that she could uh, win today, and she did it. Last question is: what really close between you, Lucinda, Talita, and then Annemiek van Vleuten comes and is seven seconds yeah. faster than everybody else? What do you say about that? Yeah, I, I think it's really impressive uh, how she came back. I mean, of course, uh, she must be really, really motivated, but also she had this big, big crash in the Rio. So, um, yeah, I have to say that it's just impressive and, uh, yeah, congratulations for such a strong ride here today and such a strong comeback. Came pretty, pretty late in this morning um, before the start. Um, a little hectic to go on, onto one lap on the course. I know normally you do much more laps on a, on a prologue course. It was a special situation and also. Yeah, a lot of attention uh, of all people that want to speak to me. So I was a bit uh, distracted by journalists and people want to talk with me. And then I thought, oh, I have to see the see the course. But also didn't know that it was not a very technical course. Usually I like more a bit more the yeah the technical ones. And on the technical ones, I train a bit more. And this was today was not so hard. Was some corners, so uh, yeah, it was pretty straightforward. Yeah, of course I took this uh, short ITT pretty serious and um, I wanted to do a good preparation, you know, um, every ITT is a good practice, so also this today and um, yeah, I, um, I felt pretty good with my preparation and uh, I also think I did a, a good race today. 
actually you can't save anything anywhere you just have to go full gas as long as you can and so I tried to start um, pre as also pretty fast and um, tried to keep the speed as, as long as I could and um, it wasn't so easy in the beginning as it was pretty rough surface and I don't like that so much <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but in the end, um, I'm pretty happy with my, my time and um, uh, the result in this ITT. I'm just coming from Holland Ladies Tour, so I also didn't have the, the best preparation or my legs didn't feel super fresh today. Um, and so I think that uh, this was a really good result. It's, it's all right. It's just the first day of the, of the stage race. And of course, I want to win. Um, uh, and. But anyway, I think I have to be really happy with this result, yeah. You're racing here with the number one of the team, um, so I guess you're also the captain. Um, that's what it normally means. Is it, is it like that? I don't know. Uh, some, some others also saying it, but uh, we will see. And today was the start of the uh, Lotto Belgium Tour. Uh, I have now the best classification. But we will see uh, next days what, we, what, we will, what will be the tactics. Um, to our flat stage, so we will see what's going to be. The bonus seconds will be really important, I guess, this week, but also the, the Muir will be important and the Bosberg. Um, what do you expect from the, from the racing itself? Will it be all split up on the, on the last stage or will the bonus seconds of the next two stages already be very, very important? Uh, of course, our girls uh, were going for the bonus seconds uh, the coming days, but I think on the last day on the Muir, on Freyardberg, it will be uh, yeah, I think there they will be the make the gaps and the, the final result. You like the mirror? Yes. G good luck there. Thank you. Can you tell me again what you did in the last weeks since the crash, how, how it all unfolded, what you did? Um, I came home after Rio and then I had a really hard time at home. Um, my doctor told me that I could not do anything. I could not watch television, could not use my phone. Because of the concussion, I had to take very only rest. And then I realized that without a goal, he also said like maybe Qatar is not realistic because you have a concussion. So I felt really like I could only think about Rio and losing, and going for the gold medal and yeah, and then crash. So I had some hard, really hard days. And then it, I felt better and started to have a new, new plan and go with my mother to Italy for training and leave everything a little bit behind in Holland. And from that on, I. Yeah, I had a yeah, new plan and I also know that always when I go to Italy, my favorite place, um, that I feel really well and it's really relaxed for me and I have a lot of yeah, rest. So I had a great time with my mother and, and that, that really gave me a good, good feeling to be there. And I, I did not have any training schedule. I just said to my mother, we go on holiday and I take my bike with me and I see day by day how I feel. And yeah, I felt better every day, so uh, I did already some yeah, some longer rides and easy, everything easy and just enjoy it. We had some coffee stops and it was a wonderful two weeks. Yeah. But you've been there on the bike every day. I've seen you up on the Motirolo, that's what you posted, the photo. No, I was not every day on the bike. I also took a lot of rest and I slept a lot and uh, I went with my mother to uh, with the cable car, uh, cable lift uh, up high and we had, uh, did some walking, so yeah, also some nice rest days. Uh, and I, yeah, I went some days on the bike. Last question, you, you talked about the plan, the new plan. What is the new plan? Is Qatar the goal now? or? I thought already before this day that it was realistic to be in a good shape again in, uh, in Qatar. Um, I felt in, in Rio that when I focus really on one goal, I can do something special. And I want to do that again in Qatar, I thought. And today, I think... I think already before today it is realistic and now I'm even more confident that it's realistic to be in, in top shape again uh, in Qatar. So uh, yeah, I hope to ride there the time trial and the road race both. Um, so um, yeah. Good luck with that and a great week here. Thank you.